Can you believe we already finished another season? And you guys know what that means. It means it's time for a seasonal empties. I have a really big bag full of random junk. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide this video up between as many sections as possible. Um, so I'm gonna try and do hair, makeup, skincare, and then miscellaneous. I finished organizing everything and I have a lot of makeup and a lot of skincare as per usual with the skincare. I just go through it like water. Um, so I'm actually gonna start off with my lowest category, which is hair products. Now to me, I don't feel like I am one to really go through a lot of hair products because it just takes a while. I don't wash my hair every single day. I usually wash it every other day or every two days. And I here have a whole bottle of dry shampoo. This is by Not Your Mother's. This is the Clean Freak Tapioca. And this is the Warm Sugar Scent. I don't like this scent. I don't like anything vanilla, sugar, marshmallow. I don't like it. And I bought this one online and I should have gone to the store to get this because I usually get these at Ulta, but Not Your Mother's Dry Shampoo is absolutely amazing. I used to be a Batiste girl. Like I used to swear up and down on Batiste, but recently I switched over to Not Your Mother's because it's a fraction of the price and you get a whole bunch of product. So I really like this. It's only like around $6, which I think is an absolute steal. And you know, even though I didn't like the smell, there are other Not Your Mother's Dry Shampoos that I'm really living for. This one isn't fully empty. I feel like once I shake it, there's like this much in here, but this is the Wet n Wild Final Stretch Dry Shampoo. This sucks. I just feel like Wet n Wild should just stick to makeup to be quite honest and not venture out into hair care because this did not do anything for me aside from making my hair smell worse than it actually did. And you know what? Like I said in like a lot of my videos, sometimes my scalp just needs a refresh in the scent department and this was not it. I'm glad it was actually really small though, so I was able to use it a couple times before I was like, eh, okay, I don't like it. And I wasn't, you know, wasting a whole big bottle of it. So I'm kind of just decluttering this from my collection. Most of you guys know that I love anything peppermint or tea tree for my hair because it just makes my scalp feel super refreshed and I feel like it also helps minimize the dandruff. And I just decided to use a new brand. This is the Acure brand. This is the peppermint and, um, listen, I don't know how to say this. So I'm not gonna say it, um, but it's the Vivacious Volume one and you can find these at Target. I found mine at TJ Maxx. I also love the fact that this literally has nothing in it. This is 100% vegan. It's paraben free, sulfate free, phthalate free, mineral oil free, petroleum free, silicone free, and cruelty free. Girl, <laughs> that's crazy. Um, but I feel like the shampoo was absolutely amazing. As far as the conditioner, it takes a lot of conditioner for my hair to actually feel really soft. So a lot of the times I will use hair mask as regular conditioner because it's, it's like the only thing that will penetrate through my hair and for it to feel really nice and soft. So the conditioner was to be desired, but it was still great paired together. I did feel like my dandruff did subside just a little bit. Um, it wasn't as crazy, uh, so uh, it really worked. I went through two little mini oils. Now I have just the Moroccan oil and I got this as like a free gift with purchase as you always do. I feel like they always give these out. Now this is amazing because Argon oil or Moroccan oil, whatever you want to call it, is a natural heat protectant and I love the effect that it gives my hair because it makes it soft and smooth and ready to style. I also used a little bio silk. I found this in my little samples bag. And so I just decided to use it up. It's like a little small one. Now, when I was actually a little kid, my mom used to style my hair with bio silk only. So the scent itself is really nostalgic and it just brings me back to when my mom used to do my hair and now she doesn't, which is fine. I'm not mad or anything, but I really do miss it when my mom gets to play with my hair. If you're on the Shop Miss A website and you're just really skeptical about the hair products, listen, I used to buy these before they even launched on the Shop Miss A website 
and these are just little packets of hair masks now i used to only buy these tea tree ones which is why i only have two in the first place this is by the sunflower mega care brand and i also decided to use the olive oil one so what i do with these packets i have like a little container in my shower and i will just like squeeze all these out and i'll just have it in like a little tub just so i could just scoop it out as opposed to squeezing out it's just easier for me um, but I really like to apply this in the ends of my hair it just really helps nourish it and I used it today for my hair and it just makes styling so much easier and faster for me and it's only a dollar so now that the hair care is out of the way let's go ahead and mosey on into the makeup I used up a lot of little things um, this past season and I'm really excited about it because a lot of the times like I feel like the products that I'm going to be mentioning are products that just clutter your makeup collection. So I have here the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Now I keep this in my client kit because I feel like a lot of clients really love that fine mist. I feel if you have a setting spray that just has a harsh spray, everyone's like... <laughs> what <laughs> so i love this one for my client kit it just really melts down the powders on the face to make it look really skin like and really nice and luminous damn girl i went through four mascaras um so i have here the essence lash princess the volume one so you guys saw me use this a lot last season and i'm trying to be really diligent about throwing out my mascaras after every three months because i don't want to get an eye infection and you know i think it is also really healthy for me to use up products in the timely manner that they're supposed to be thrown out because i just have a habit of using things way past their expiration so i'm throwing this one out even though she's still juicy she's great I feel like compared to um, my favorite lash princess the false lash effect this one comes in at a pretty close second also I have a whole video uh, comparing all of the lash princesses together with the wear test and application so if you want to see that I'll link it up in the video as well I have a mini sample of the Shiseido Controlled Chaos Mascara. Now, this mascara claims to be water resistant. It also claims to give you length and volume, pretty much all of the aspects that you want in a mascara. However, I feel like my eye shape is really small and my lashes are really tiny, so this wand can get messy. And I feel like because of that and because it's not completely waterproof, I just feel like it's not my favorite thing out there and I'm I feel like I am pretty particular about my mascaras too as as we all are I think mascaras are just so individual because we all have different wants and needs and I just think that this one isn't my favorite they do have other mascaras in this line but I just think that the controlled chaos line is not what I'm gearing towards so I have two mascaras that I have in my client kit. So when I do mascaras on clients, I do have disposable wands. So I am not using the wands that come with the actual mascara tube. Now I have the Waterproof Revolution. Now this is perfect for anyone who just wants to make sure that their lashes stay in place. They don't want to have their tears ruin their makeup or anything like that so perfect for brides and then i also have the covergirl so lashy blast pro and as you see i only have like the actual stop like not even the wand which is fine because i don't use the wand on my clients anyway um these ones are great they don't smudge they pretty much stay in place so i really like these and they are a great affordable option from the drugstore i got some shimmery liquid eyeshadows Y'all don't see me use these quite often, huh? Now, I wanted to throw this one away. Um, if I do have it sitting up, I am like more than halfway done. So I used a lot of it, but you know what? Like if I'm being like completely honest, I feel like with any ColourPop item that comes in these tubes, I just feel like it gets lower and lower and lower so fast. Like their concealers, I run through it like water and it's just absolutely insane so this one is a discontinued shade it's part of their supernova shadow line and it's the walk of fame so this is from their initial launch when they did launch the liquid shadows i really like it but i just feel like it dried up really fast so i wasn't able to get my full use out of it now i went to uh, tj maxx recently and i saw that they had like these little mini stila liquid shadows and I have like the full size ones in my kit as well, but I just decided, you know what, maybe if I just have like the minis, then I don't have to worry about it. 
but I feel like because they're small, I, it already dried up like in the tube. So I wasn't even able to use this one time, which really sucked to be quite honest. And in my kit, I actually have the Inglot Duraline. So it actually helps revive any uh, dried out shadows or anything. And even that was just like, it, it barely helped this situation at all. So unfortunately, um, I didn't really get much use out of these. And that's kind of sad because Stila eyeshadows are amazing. Sorry, change of lighting, the sun is setting. But speaking of my client kit, I have the Tarte Tardis clay paint liners and I love this because I feel like I get so much control out of how much I could squeeze out. It's pretty sanitary because you squeeze it out too. And it's just easy to work with in my opinion. I haven't had any issues with smudging or budging. And I feel like um, when I do switch out my eyeliners, sometimes they do budge, they do crease, and this one has stood the test of time for me, so I do keep this in my kit all of the time. Now today, I actually ran through my Physician's Formula Eye Booster Pen, which is my favorite eyeliner of all time. It is the best. I love it. And right now, I'm actually going through a lot of my eyeliners, which should have been done like months ago, but I'm just trying to, again, use my liners in a timely manner so that I don't get any eye infections. So this one, I'm so happy that she's done and I just can't wait to get another one from the store. I usually get the shade Ultra Black in mine just so it has like the most pigmentation. And I love the fact that this also is infused with a serum that helps your lashes grow. So through time and through use, your lashes do say thank you from the serum. I got a couple of lip products here. Now I have the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and I have the shade Stockholm. Fun fact, when I first started getting into lipsticks and nudes, Stockholm was my first nude and I still am using it till this day. Like this isn't the same one, but I'm repurchasing it because it's a nice like peachy nude and sometimes I'll pair her up with like a brown lip liner and she is so gorgeous. Now the only reason why I'm throwing this one out is because I keep it in my bag whenever I am like in an emergency and I just need a lipstick in my bag. And this has been in my bag for a couple of years now and that's disgusting. It really is. This is a project pan item that I had in my 2020 project pan video. This is the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in the shade Coco Loco. It's a dark brown, kind of like the package. This is great. It's only like two bucks at Walgreens. And I mean, it's affordable. It's great. There's nothing bad about her. Um, it's just the fact that you can only get it at Walgreens. So something to look for if you are on a budget. This is another Project Pan item that I have, and this is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Celebrity Skin. I am not completely done with this. Like, when I take it out, there's not a lot of product that actually comes off on the wand, so that's a good sign. But I had this lipstick since 2016, and quite frankly, she's expired, and I can tell. And I guess I didn't realize that, like going into like my 2020 empties, I didn't realize she was so old until I started using it every day and realizing, oh my God, <laughs> she's smelling a little weird. She's not performing like she used to. And you know, at some point you just gotta toss her out and I just gotta do it. Two more things that were on my 2020 project pan list. I honestly am so proud of myself, really. I really did that this past season. Now I have the Shiseido Synchro Skin. This is not the full size. Um, and I have the shade Golden 4, which is the darkest golden shade. So this is discontinued. They did rebrand their foundations to the Synchro Skin Self Refreshing line, which I have a whole review about. Now this one is amazing. I really do like this formula. It is very lightweight. So if you happen to see this, I don't know if they're gonna have it out of TJ Max or anything anytime soon. Um, but if you do get a chance to try this, it is very lightweight. It's like a soft matte finish. And I feel like you do have to set it with powder, but only like a light layer. It's not something that will run off the face. Um, it will stay on and I do like the shade. It's very golden, it's very yellow, and that's what I'm here for. But unfortunately, this line only had like 12 shades and this is like the second to darkest shade and that's a problem. That's a problem if I haven't seen one myself. The Catrice HD Liquid Foundation, you guys know 
She's my favorite. I love this foundation. I think out of all the drugstore foundations, this is definitely my number one. I feel like this definitely gives you that your skin but better. It doesn't feel like anything on the skin. It is so lightweight, so liquidy, and it's just so full coverage if you build it up. And honestly, it looks bomb in photos. Like every single picture I have taken in this foundation is so amazing. I love it so much. And it claims to last 24 hours and I have tested it at Disneyland. It's Disneyland approved, man. And it's just like the best. It's only like $10. You could use your coupons on it at Ulta. And I'm also in the shade Golden Beige. You know what it is? Some lash glue. I am such a huge culprit of keeping lash glue for too long too long. I've had the Kiss Lash Glue for over a year and that's a problem. And then I have the Shop Masse Super Strip Lash Adhesive. I've had this one since summer. Ooh, that's almost a year. Oof. Ooh. <laughs> um, yeah, so I ran through these. I think that the formula on these are pretty similar. I do have a review on the Shop Masse Lash Glue, and then I also compare it to this. Now, I feel like they are very similar. I think the only difference is the price, but the price difference isn't even that much. It's like literally like a dollar off from each other. So um, they're both really good. They're both really nice for sensitive eyes. And if you are just looking for something really inexpensive, but really sticks down your lash, you'll really like these skincare let me tell you something winter dries me out like I tell you how crusty I am in like every single video I tell you that I am just the crustiest person in the crusty crab and I go through moisturizers and I go through masks like it's nobody's business so I have so much skincare to show you guys and I'm really excited because I know you guys love it when I share some of my insights on my skincare so I have let's start with the Erno Laszlo for marine line now in my last empties video I ran through their serum and the serum was absolutely amazing this whole purpose of this line is to really just firm the skin and to just make it look a little bit more youthful. And especially for me, I think right now when I use anything firming or lifting, it's more of a preventative measure than corrective. So I am really liking this. I have the night cream and then the day cream. The day cream does contain SPF 30. This is expensive, but I mean, my skin looked absolutely flawless. My skin, oh my God, my skin looked the best. Lately on Instagram, I feel like I've been seeing a lot of skincare videos featuring spa scriptions. Now I've seen her at TJ Maxx, Marshalls and Ross, and for some odd reason, like I just never buy her because I just think it's cheap. I'm about to get in so much trouble, but listen, I just thought, you know, from first glance, like, okay, like this is just some cheap skincare. And I got an email one day from Spa Scriptions and they said, hey, we want to just send you a package of the, what is this? The Glacier Water and Collagen line. So I said, okay. And I went to go try it out and I didn't like it. Now it came with these little capsule serums where you just take it out and then you squeeze it individually. That smelled horrendous. And it also came with a lip balm that didn't uncrust my lips, let me tell you. And then it also came with a firming eye cream that I ended up using as a body cream because it didn't do anything for me. And then it also came with a buildable moisturizer that sat on top of the skin and did not sink down into the skin to hydrate. So I unfortunately didn't really like it. And fun fact, collagen in creams, they don't really help you. Um, it's not like you could just put on collagen and it'll be helpful to the elasticity of your skin. You're going to need a product that'll go deep down into the skin to activate collagen production in order to enhance the elasticity of the face. And you know what? That's just me. And that's just my little teachings to you. Those little food for thought for this video. Um, and that's all I gotta say. So let's move on. 
I got a couple things from Makeup Revolution. Now, they have been very generous and have been sending me so many serums and oils. And to be quite honest, I think that their skincare is amazing for the price. It's really inexpensive. And I ran through the Night Restore Oil, and this has Squalane and Evening Primrose Oil. All of their skincare, by the way, is vegan and cruelty free, just in case you were wondering. And I feel like their oils in general just make your skin look so good the next morning. There's something about it that my skin is just like, give it to me. I'm right now using their CBD oil and that is also amazing. Um, but I also ran through their 5% caffeine solution and hyaluronic acid. Now this is a targeted under eye serum, but I just ended up using it for my whole face because caffeine and hyaluronic acid is just great for the skin anyways. So I just thought, why not just use it all over the skin? And my skin was just really deeply hydrated this past winter. I did not have any issues with any dry spots, which has been amazing and that's kind of rare. So I really wanna thank these two products. You know, a little bit goes a long way. So it's affordable, vegan, cruelty-free, little goes a long way, it actually works. I don't know, it's really good. Miss Laneige, this is amazing. This is their cream skin toner and moisturizer. This is for normal and dry skin. This is so delicious. Now toners are supposed to balance pH of your skin, but this one does claim to be moisturizing, so it's also just going to not dry it out like some toners do. Because of that, it also helps some of the products that I layered on top seep into the skin better because of the moisturizing effects. Oh. Man, this is amazing. They sell this at Sephora. So if you want to go in and get like a small mini size to try out, I highly recommend, you know, doing that or even getting a sample if they even offer it. That's a weird way of getting a sample because this is a liquid, like an actual liquid, like water. Um, but this is amazing and I want to get another one. But right now I am trying to not buy any skincare because I have so much skincare to use up so i am going to wait until i could buy this again but this is probably one of my favorite things like k beauty or like korean skincare wise like i think this is definitely one that's like top tier okay wait I'm gonna mosey this one in too. So for my Korean skincare, I also really love the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm. I already have another one on backup. That says something. This smells so freaking delicious and your skin literally looks like glass skin. It's actually so insane. Like the moisture goes deep into the skin. It's a water-based cream and your skin is left with this, this beautiful sheen and it just looks so good. And then when you apply makeup, it just looks so amazing. I really love this stuff and it's worth every single penny. I just, mm, mm, get her, get her. I have some Shiseido things to share with you guys. Now, this is a discontinued Shiseido moisturizer. This is the Ibuki Protective Moisturizer, and this has SPF 18 in it. So this is very similar to some of the Shiseido emulsions. So what an emulsion is, it's pretty much like a lightweight moisturizer. It comes in a pump. Um, it's definitely not like a thick cream, um, but it's definitely not anything watery like the Laneige toner. Um, it's definitely something in between that. So it's just supposed to be like a quick, easy step in your routine and because this has SPF 18 it was kind of like okay apply and go you know if I'm just going to the grocery store and I just needed a simple moisturizer like this is the one that I was going to use um but they unfortunately don't sell this anymore even though she's so bomb I don't know man something about her is just delicious and if I could buy more of these off of somebody then I would I totally would I ran through a mini size of the old Shiseido Benefiance. This is the Wrinkle Resist 24. Now, they recently rebranded the Benefiance line, so now it's called Wrinkle Smoothing. And the night cream is very similar to the Wrinkle Smoothing Enriched, and that one is my personal favorite. So um, pretty much they just renamed it to not just be a night cream because you could use this 
in the day as well. You just have to add SPF in it. Um, so it works really well. I love the smell of Benefiance. It just smells so fresh and clean. And I just love the fact that it gives my skin because I do suffer from very fine lines on my skin. And sometimes when I take a break from using it um, and I use other moisturizers that don't claim to be like lifting or wrinkle smoothing, I feel like I could see my smile lines or I could see my under eye lines or I could see my forehead lines. So this Benefiance collection just really helps my skin just look its smoothest. Some cleansers that were like a five out of 10. So this one is the Glam Glow Gentle Bubble and I got this in a BoxyCharm. I was kind of excited because I've never tried Glam Glow before so I thought, oh my God, I got a full size. How about that? But I realized that this, is not the best like it's very um gel like so sometimes it kind of just slips out your hand especially when you're trying to mix it with water and foam it up and lather it on your skin um so this one wasn't the best the smell was a little weird like it doesn't really smell like anything but it has a scent like a soft plastic like a soft plastic vibe, you know what I mean? All in all, I feel like when I did use this, I did have to triple cleanse my skin, which is a lot because normally I would just like double cleanse and then go. But this one, I definitely had a triple cleanse to clean my skin. And the same goes for the Drunk Elephant Jelly Cleanser. I got this as a free gift for my birthday last year. And even with this, I felt like I had to clean my skin so much. This one does say that it helps pH balance your skin, it's unscented, and it removes all makeup. That's a bold claim, ma'am. But I mean, you know what? I am in the midst of going through some cleansers, so I'm kind of glad that these ones are now out of my rotation and that I could just move on. Before we get into some mask, I want to talk about a lip balm that I used up. Now this is one of my favorite lip treatments. This is the Catrice Lip Treatment with Shea Butter. If you have a Catrice display at your local Ulta, get this, get her. She's like $7, but honestly, so amazing. Your lips feel so revived, so rejuvenated, and it's because it is shea butter. And honestly, it's just amazing. I really do like it. I just feel like with a lot of other lip balms that claim to have shea butter in it, it's not shea buttery enough. Um, so this definitely does help moisturize the lips and really revive it back to its normal state. I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom through these masks. So I have here the Creme Shop Watermelon Overnight Gel Mask. And this was pretty good. Um, I didn't feel like it was my absolute favorite, but um, it did work. I, I did feel hydrated when I woke up in the morning. I have a foot peel mask. This is crazy. Like, hold on. I just feel like this did not work for like the first three days. And then the fourth day, my foot was peeling like crazy. Like it was nobody's business. And my foot has never felt softer in my 21 years of existence. I swear, like this is crazy. And this is by Patchology. It's their Posh Peel Pedicure. I have some Shop Miss A makeup remover wipes. I have a whole review on this in case you were wondering. And then I have a whole plethora of sheet masks. So I have the Creme Shop Pink Lemonade Face Mask. I feel like I talk about this in every single empties. My Acne Spot Dots, I have a review on these. It's a hydrocolloid patch that helps with acne overnight. I have a Princess Jasmine mask that smells like jasmine. For jasmine. <laughs> And then I also have the Cosmetique Black Tea Nourishing Moisture Mask. This comes with so much serum, so save it. And then I also have the Papa Recipe Right for Skin, the Bombi Ginseng Red Honey Oil Mask Pack. This was actually pretty cool. Um, I didn't feel like it was anything super extraordinary, but I did feel really hydrated afterwards. And then I have the Creme Shop Soften Up Skin, and this is just like their um, animated mask. And then I have an eye patch from Shiseido, and this is their Benefiance eye patch, which is one of my favorite. I feel like it just really helps hydrate and revive my under eyes. Miscellaneous. I feel like right now it's very important to remind you guys how important it is to wash your hands. So I'm gonna talk about some hand soaps real quick. Um, you know, two different kinds, you know, a foaming one and you know, your regular creamy luxe hand soap. Both of these by Bath & Body Works. Love these, love the scent. It's amazing, it's good for you. 
and just wash your damn hands, man. By the way, the scent is Cucumber and Lily and Frozen Lake. Every single empties I talk about a contact solution and you guys know clear care hydrogen peroxide the best when you want to deep clean your contacts and really revive them back to their brand new state. And then I also have the OptiFree Pure Moist All Day Comfort. Now you do have to rub these in the contacts. Um, this isn't like the um, rapid or replenish ones where you could just dip your contacts in the solution. You actually do have to rub with this, but it really does help, especially when you accidentally put in your contact backwards and you just need to re-moisten it. Love these two in conjunction with each other. Hello. I feel like I really like this brand for my oral care because I just feel like she works and my teeth feel nice and fresh and clean. Now this one is the Natural Mint uh, mouthwash and it was really nice. I am using a new mouthwash from Schmitz, you know, like the deodorant brand. And it tastes like deodorant, like you know when you smell deodorant and then you, you were like, oh my god, if I had that in my mouth that would be disgusting. Like, I need to go back to the store and buy this and throw that one out because that's disgusting. It's so nasty. And this is amazing. She's minty fresh and she's only like four bucks. Speaking of hello, I have their toothpaste. Now this one's my favorite out of their entire uh, toothpaste line. Now this one is the extra whitening fluoride toothpaste, the natural pure mint. I feel like this really does help make my teeth look its whitest. And I mean, I don't have the whitest teeth on planet earth, like let's be real, but I do feel like sometimes when I do switch out my toothpaste, they don't help retain the whiteness. Um, so then after I finished this, I went into the Dr. Bronner's peppermint all-in-one toothpaste because I love the Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap so I thought why not like why not just do it and this one was actually really good I felt like my breath stayed fresh for a really long time so both of these were amazing and there have been a lot of times where I've tried toothpaste that I just absolutely hated but then I just went through it just so I don't waste it um, but these ones were absolutely amazing Keeping your hands clean is essential. This one's a shop must say pure sanitizing wipes, a dollar. Boom. Keep yourself clean, but wash your hands most importantly. Don't just rely on hand sanitizer. I see you. I never mention teeth whitening strips on my channel. Do I? I feel like I don't, but I use the Remembrant um, Custom Fit Whitening Strip and I really like this brand because I don't feel any sensitivity on my teeth when I do use it, but I do see a difference in the whitening effect. So it's really nice, especially if you feel like Crest White Strips are just too harsh on the teeth. And I do have pretty thin enamel. <laughs> well, that's what my dentist says. So it's really nice to just have something for sensitive teeth and that will also do its job. Every empties, I have a lotion because I'm crusty. I have one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works, which is Winter Candy Apple. Uh, delicious. I love the scent of artificial apple. It's my favorite. The Sigma Brush Shampoo. This is the foaming one. This I used to really love, but I just found that through time, Dr. Bronner's is a little bit better. Like it deep cleans just the same, but at the same time, I feel like it's better for the environment. What am I saying? I just feel like Dr. Bronner's is like all in one. Like you could use it to clean your fruits, your body, your pets, like literally everything. And you get so much more for less money. So yeah, that's all I'm saying. The Healing Grace, Liquid Tiger Balm, or what we call it in our family, Brankachal. If you have a headache, brankachal. If you have a stomachache, brankachal. If your foot hurts, brankachal. If you have allergies, don't take Claritin. Apply brankachal. It's literally like all that we have in the house. I have a bigger one right here. <laughs> it's literally like we have to have it in every single room of this house. It's that serious. Think Vicks, but like 10 times stronger. Kind of crazy. 
Now we're gonna end this video on some perfumes. I have Clinique Happy. I'm not like a huge fan of this because I actually in fact like Clinique Happy for men. It actually has a little bit more of like a musky scent, but I just thought I would just finish this up because the bottle is so, so tiny. And then I used up one of my favorite perfumes of all time. I think this is a unisex perfume and this is the Clean Warm Cotton. This has like this fresh laundry smell, like this fresh detergent smell that I love oh so much. It's the best. And just like that, you guys, we are done with my winter empties. I hope you guys all enjoy, whether that was just watching it all the way through or just having me when you're eating or just having me in the background, whatever it is. Thank you for watching and thank you for supporting my empties videos. I love filming these for you guys. It's literally one of my favorite videos to film of all time. And I just think that these mini reviews really are helpful to any of you guys who are just curious about random things. So as always, I hope you guys all enjoy this one and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts.